Look, Fedor looked impressive. You know, they went out there and uh, got at it right away. He chilled on his face, started put, uh, putting that pressure on him. Um, Fedor was throwing back hard, you know, and, and he, he's throwing those three, four, five punch combos. And uh, um, as the fight went on, you know, I, I wish I got to see a second round. I thought it would be uh, start to turn a little bit in Chell's favor if the if the second round if he made it there and, start, and started coming out and, and being a little more patient. But um, overall, he, Fedor looked impressive. I'm excited. I'm ready. Um, got me going. This is the fight you said you wanted last night when you were in there facing off with him. What, what was that experience like? Yeah, it's uh, it's kind of surreal, but not. You know, um, I've been in there with guys like that. You know, guys that you know. Uh, I kind of idolized coming up, you know, and then to stand across the cage from him. Um, so no different with Fedor. Um, it's one of those things when you get that opponent and you know you're fighting a guy, it's just a, a man, a name, and uh, somebody standing in your way. He's very icy. He's very, like, stoic. Yeah, you never know what you're going to get with Fedor, you know, and uh, uh, you don't know any of his emotions. And for me, watching this fight, I didn't know, you know, he was the unknown. You know, what's he like on the ground? What's uh, How's his cardio um, we didn't get to see much in that first fight, you know, and so uh, we saw a little bit. We saw one one round uh, in in this fight. That's why I said I'd like to see it go to the second round. Um, he looked he looked very impressive. There's uh, definitely things that I saw that I could exploit and, and use and and whatnot. But uh, overall, a very very uh, good performance by Fedor. Yeah, that's from uh, that's just from uh, Benson Henderson. Kind of rubbed up on me. <laughs> Nothing cool. <laughs> oh yeah, Chell took him down with a kind of a single leg, you know, like a low, low single, you know, so that balance there. It, it's crazy because Fedor showed incredible balance in certain positions, but then got taken down by like kind of a low single, you know, and had his feet together. Um, I shoot my shots a little different than Chael's. You know, I'm trying to either blow you off your feet or I don't get it and try to stay in a good position. Um, I never like to be anywhere with my knees on the mat shooting at all, you know. And so uh, definitely, you know, I saw some things there. I saw... You know, they were both kind of getting a little tired there because it was a, it was a frantic pace. Um, I thought Chael would have – his uh, his energy would have come back to him because it was just more of like a kind of a, uh, all right, here we go, here we go. I tried this. I wasn't working. Uh, kind of panicking a little bit, but then I, I saw it kind of come back uh, a little bit. So uh, Fedor definitely was breathing hard too and was, uh, was uh, kind of resting in positions. Um, but so yeah, I, I I saw some stuff. Fedor always keeps his hands low. You know, he gets tagged. I think he got hit with a little up kick. You know, kind of kind of felt a little bit. But you know, he's throwing bombs. Um, you know, uh, it was just a matter of game plan. Kind of like I, I thought it was going to kind of carry out. You go out there. I thought if Chell could get that first couple takedowns, it was going to be his night. But if Fedor stuffed a couple and Chell started thinking, man, what's going on right now? Why is it isn't this working? Um, and that's what, what kind of happened and kind of was the beginning to the end. It's, it's backfired against him sometimes like the Dan Henderson fight, but more often than not, Fedor seems to thrive in the chaos. And I know you consider yourself a very smart, intelligent fighter. So when you go in there, how do you make sure you don't get caught up in that with him? And well, I think that was a good reminder right there, you know, with Chell coming in there and getting right in his face and kind of coming into a, a buzzsaw right away, you know. Um, Fedor, that, that's his MO. You come in, he's going to throw – you know, three punches at least at you, and they come from weird angles, you know. Um, can you beat him to that punch and he has his hands down? Yeah. You know, and, and uh, um, do you want to play that game all the time, though? Probably not. So you got to be patient. I, I usually – I come out and I fight different opponents totally different ways, you know, and so um, we'll have to go back and, and watch tape, game plan, get with my coaches and figure it out. Do you think you might see Chael at 205 at some point down the line? Yeah, probably. Chills. He's gonna give me back. You know, he's a competitor. He's a one of the best guys in the world. You know, look at you know he made it like he was saying made it to the final four. You know, in the uh, Bellator Heavyweight Grand Prix, and and uh, um, he'll definitely be back for sure. You like that idea? That fight? Yeah, I want. Yeah, I like. Uh, I like fighting everybody. You know, and I feel I'm gonna be around for a while. So, you know, I'm I'm gonna run up and bump up against those guys for sure. No doubt in his mind, you win against Fedor. What do you think about that? That's pretty cool. You know, appreciate it. you know the respect from peer, peers is uh, 
you know, uh, definitely a cool thing to see, especially from a guy like him. You know, he, I respect him a ton and what he's done in this sport. Um, I, I still got to go out there and do it, though, you know, and, uh, you know, I thrive in this kind of stuff, and I can't wait. It's almost like you you got you and DC are actually pretty good friends despite that whole incident in 2015. Yeah, it is what it is. We're competitors. We're 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 you know top guys that want the same thing. I wanted a title fight. He had it at the time, you know, and uh, we we're jawing at each other a little bit. But yeah, there's tons of mutual respect there. I'm uh, coming from the wrestling world, what he's done, and then what he's done in the MMA world. You know, I want to uh, um, kind of do the same thing he just did. You know, the the double champ there. So um, a lot of respect there.